uh, Rusty Brown, um, professor of radiology at Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota, and we're going to be talking about ultrasound of adnexal masses. Uh, we're going to review um, ovarian masses primarily. First, we'll talk about the normal ovary and several things that really should not be considered or reported as a mass. We'll talk about common benign masses, neoplasms, and particularly the uh, most important indicators of malignancy. We'll review some extra ovarian masses, and a lot of the recommendations and criteria that we'll talk about are uh, based on the SRU consensus conference on adnexal cyst and other masses, um, and the recommendations will be for asymptomatic patients. First of all, let's review the normal ovary. Um, the ovary is unique in that it has small cysts, which are really follicles as part of its normal structure. Uh, we know these follicles get up to, on average, about two to two and a half almost centimeters at ovulation. From the consensus conference, we considered the follicles up to three centimeters in maximum diameter to be normal in premenopausal women, and we just consider that a dominant follicle. You do not want to report those as cysts. The corpus luteum is another normal structure that we see after ovulation. The typical appearance is, is in this one where you have a cystic lesion with kind of a thick crenulated wall, some internal echoes. If you put on cholera power Doppler, it's often a vascular rim. That's quite typical. These are usually less than two to three centimeters in maximum diameter. And this is just a typical appearance of a corpus luteum that we expect to see after ovulation. Uh, and we don't want to report these as abnormal or masses that need follow-up. Occasionally you may not be sure about one, but most cases they have a characteristic enough appearance um, that you can be confident. Uh, I'd just like to mention the word cyst. I, I think it's problematic when we use the word cyst uh, in the ovary since we do have these uh, follicles that are normal and they appear basically as a simple cyst uh, that we would describe as a cyst in any other organ. The problem with the ovary is uh, it can be misinterpreted by our clinical colleagues, uh, it can be misinterpreted by patients uh, who now often can see the reports in many institutions. So I would encourage you to try not to use the word cyst for any structure in an ovary that you think is normal. So these dominant follicles, I would just call them a dominant follicle. If it's the corpus luteum, I prefer not to use the word even corpus luteum cyst, just call it a corpus luteum. Even multiple follicles or physiologic cysts, I think, can be misunderstood. Normal is a great word. I would encourage you just to use normal. Or I'll often, when it's a cyst, um, a dominant follicle, that is, that getting close to three centimeters, just say normal ovary with a dominant follicle measuring X, or normal ovary with a corpus luteum, and just try not to use that word cyst because it can be so misunderstood.